This video is brought to you by Miniature Market. Thousands of board games, miniatures, and paints, discount prices at miniaturemarket.com. Hey everybody, it's your old pal Rob. Now I was I was taking some time and I was going through my videos and I was kind of looking and I spend a lot of time talking to you guys about some of the negative aspects of 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 board game reviewers or YouTube channels and stuff like that uh, concerning board games. Uh, the harm that they do, how a, a majority of them are out for your money. They don't, they don't care about you. A lot of them just want to be famous and, and make a living out of this so they don't have to go get real jobs out in the world like everybody else, like you do. Uh, and, um, you know, I spent a lot of time on that and, and, and I started thinking, I go, you know, why don't we talk about the good things? Okay, and why you come to YouTube to check out a lot of different channels and, and, and some of the good things that, that come from YouTubers that, that, that do this type of thing. And there are a lot of them out there that are very, very, very good. And the shame of it is, is that, you, you know, sometimes, you know, the squeaky wheel gets the oil. Okay, so we scream at the top of our lungs about things that, you know, whether channels decide to take political views, which that's not what board gaming's about. Okay, it shouldn't matter your political view. You should be able to sit at a table and play a game with people because games are about people. Okay, it's about interacting with, with, the, with the human species. You know, um, a lot of people, you know, consider them hard left liberals or very, very right wing conservatives. OK, and this isn't a political video, but I think what I'm trying to say is, you know, and, and they bring this to the table and I just don't think it has any room for it. Um, I, th I think the only thing that I've ever been, uh, you know, I've never been to the far left or to the far right. I've just been a human being, someone that, that is either filled with compassion for others or will stand his ground against people that are cruel and unkind. You see, both sides are unkind in a lot of ways. And, you know, games should be about games. Again, you know, here we are, I'm trying to separate, talking about so much neg negativity and you know, what I want to do is talk about a, a lot of the good people that, that, that really do good things. And what do they do good? What do they do to help the hobby? Well, number one, they don't, uh, you know, some of these people that I'll mention, and I, I can't me mention everybody because I can't keep them all off the top, uh, top of my head, but I'm going off the top of the head with the channels that move me, the channels that, that when I watch, I get something out of. OK, um, I don't get these goofy personalities that, that try to be funny and, and overshadow the game, that everything's, a, you know, got to be a comedy, uh, a, a comedy show through the whole thing. And it overshadows what you're trying to learn about the game. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with a bunch of comedy. We all need some laughs in, in very difficult times. But I think the most important thing is getting the information to find out if this is going to be good for your particular group. Does this game reach and touch you or will it move your group? Will you have that, that moment where you all sit together and go, wow, this is fantastic. I'm having so much fun and I love being with the people that I hang with. And, you know, the only way you're going to do that, there's nothing worse than just buying something blind, bringing it home and saying, OK, guys, we're going to try this today. And it's a total disappointment. I mean, you're going to have those nights. But they can be eliminated a lot by, by just getting the proper information. People that are, are attentive uh, to, to the game, that understand the game, that teach you the game to a degree give you opinions but don't aren't cruel about it to try to 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 clickbait you to try to 
cause harm to a developer you know not everybody not everybody can hit a home run if if that was the case then nobody would watch any baseball okay the home run wouldn't be that special even though it really isn't anymore but um you know not every not every game is going to knock you off your socks so you want to be choosy, especially nowadays with prices going up, all the shipping crisis and everything that this board game, uh, you know, community that has gone through. And, you know, uh, you know, you want somebody that's going to do that. Can they bring the information to you? Can they be a friend to you? Can they may can they talk about subjects and and touch you and and and, and express their concerns and their delights? without making it something that it shouldn't be without harming anyone else without uh you know destroying people's lives uh and things like that uh th there's a lot of people that do that that just go around and hunt people down and wait for them to slip up to try to destroy them and there's sellouts and 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 people that just want you know I, i've said it a million times all the wrong things but there are people out there that care and have a passion for gaming. And that's what makes YouTube great, is being able to sift through and find some of these fantastic channels that do that. And, and, and they have their strengths and their weaknesses, and they know it, and they know what they shine at, and they really stick to that. And they really try to give you a lot of great things. You know, one of the greatest big channels, I think, that are out there is, 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 is of course, Rodney's channel. And, you know, and I, and I say that, uh, you know, Rodney and I may not agree on everything um, 100%, but you know something? We're, we're very nice to each other. We're very kind to each other. Every time we see each other, we're happy to see each other. I've, <clears throat> I, I, I particularly started my channel because of Watch It Played. And it's so happy to see him become the number one board gaming channel because look at what they do um and and he and he's he's built a group uh uh that and and a vision that he has where they can have fun and be silly but when it comes down to the specifics of the game it's very serious it's it's taken and it's explained to you the positives maybe sometimes some negatives that they may feel, but it's brought to you in the light for you to make the ultimate decision. Then when that's done, you know, a little comedy on the way out. And that's the way it's supposed to be done. And that's what people want. They want to feel part of something. And with Watch It Played, you do. You feel part of something. Not only that, but probably one of the most professional guys I've ever seen in my life and does a, a great job. A matter of fact, I believe it, it's his nephew, um, Adam Smith, who has a um, rolling solo, has to be considered one of the greatest solo players of all time. Uh, comes, brings, welcomes you into his home, into his studio, does everything that he can to give you everything that, that you need. Um, you know, you should be supporting this guy because he's clean, concise, well-spoken. And, you know, people send him stuff. And, and, you know, when you talk about Cult of the News, something I don't do, but here's a guy that gets everything early. And what he does is it's not about rushing it out and shoving it in your face. He takes the time to learn it, to bring it to you in an educated and smart way. Just like Rodney. The Smith boys are just absolutely fantastic. You know, and their strengths are exactly what you think. They bring it to you, they make you feel welcome, and they give you the information that you need. And these are the type of things that I'm talking about that are good about board gaming, that are the strengths of board gaming. Not clickbait, not, not hate, hate, and you know looking for things people that aren't you know even irrelevant in the board game community hunting out and and trying to destroy channels and stuff like that it's just it's 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 too much let's find the good let's look for the good these guys are good 
They have a message about board games and, 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 and this hobby that they do fantastic work. Over on the other side, side of the ocean, Ricky Royal, who, who, who my God, this guy should have 100,000, unlike you know, you know some other people, okay? You know, that, that, that are just swarmy, all right? This is a guy, again, who has this fantastic passion you know, and I'm not going to name everybody, but 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 you need if you haven't checked out these channels, you need to check them out. And believe me, I think you check them out more than you would check out this channel. And it's the things that I, that that they do is they bring and they present things to you and let you make the ultimate decision, whether it's playthroughs, which show you how it works while explaining the game, uh, which they do a fantastic job. Uh, just really, really fantastic, fantastic things that they do. Dale, the casual gamer, probably one of the, the greatest uh, uh, guys that play card games I've ever seen. Um, his strength is card games, and he does it well. I don't think there's anybody that does Marvel Champions better than Dale, fantastically. The Players Aid, who are, are just very good at, at, at showing off what war games are and what they're are, are all about. Not making it about them, but making it about the game. And that's one of their fantastic strengths that, that they have and they do. And they do it very, very, very well. And, and uh, you know, tip a hat to them. Geek Gamer, uh, probably one of the greatest dungeon crawl people that I've ever seen. Her, the way she dissects things. Uh, you know, it's just good for board gaming. It's good for dungeon crawls. It's good for RPGs. Her passion, her her just no nonsense. Let's get to it and let's do it. Always bored, always uh, always boring or something like that. But always bored, never boring. I hope I didn't butcher that. Another guy that that is um, you know more on the Warhammer side that does a fantastic job. And brings things to you, the concerns the, 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 that we all have with GW, the things that are positive and, 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 and negative and what he'd like to see. And, and it brings it to you in a, just a, a, you know, the, a, in a news fashion that's done con in clear, concise, and professionally done. Jay Play, my, my boy there. Oh, man, I love that guy. You know? He just does it, and he deserves millions of followers. Go check out JPlay, another fantastic, fantastic channel that you should be checking out all the time. Just uh, uh, an another gentleman over on the other side from Europe that just, I, I really enjoy listening to him. Calming, smart, educated, done very well. Takes a stab at things, may make some mistakes, but does it in a way that he fixes it and makes you feel welcoming. Uh, my friend's board game Nexus, who used uh, formerly known as Ant Labs, that been through the ringer, undeservedly, I believe, in my heart. But you know, uh, that's the way it is. But here is a couple that are absolutely fantastic. Okay, their chemistry, their professionalism, the way they handle things, the way they bring things. The way they've grown and 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 their 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 beautiful set and and really have put in everything and their hearts and their minds into board gaming and they do it wonderful. Uh, you know, to have a partner that enjoys the things that you enjoy uh, is is really a strength of a relationship. And uh, unfortunately, uh, my wife and I uh, don't see eye to eye on anything, but we love each other madly. What what more can you say? Uh, we don't like the same music, we don't like the same movies, we don't like uh, a lot of things. Matter of fact, the only game that we'll ever play, which those two play games together all the time because they love playing games. The only game that I ever play is trying to see at the end of the week if I can have any money in my wallet while her game is to try to spend as much money that I make, whether it be at Bath & Beyond um, uh, Bath and Body Works, another favorite, Kohl's, um, Amazon, or any other, uh, oh, Hobby Lobby, let's not forget that because we have to have 9 million Christmas things, which I'm looking at right now because we are starting the transition to Christmas, 
Yes, I know, it's still November. Welcome to my world, folks. Welcome to my world. Um, but, you know, these guys do it in such a way. And the way they care for each other, the way they're well-spoken, the chemistry is fantastic, and they do it as, as, as great as anyone uh, uh, I've ever seen. Um, you know, there's a million others that, that I can sit there and talk about. And these are the positive things about YouTube board, board gaming that you should go and watch these particular channels and take from. Okay, because there's a lot of garbage out there. A lot of clickbait, uh, a lot of shady deals, uh, a lot of uh, maneuvering and all that stuff. Go find the positive. Go find the positive stuff. And start with some of these people because they'll refer you to other people that are extremely positive. And it will make you fall in love with board games again. And that's exactly what we need to do is fall back in love with it. Okay, and not be there for the drama, the clickbait, the faces, uh, the dime a dozen uh, a guy that all of a sudden he, he gets 100 people and makes 10 videos and thinks he is a board game reviewer and, and starts, you know, trying to comment on other people's videos. I mean, just find the positive things. And these things, one shop co-op, another one, the professionalism, his their team and how well they do things and and bring just this vibrant excitement about board games to you go check all these channels out now I missed some and I apologize and some of them are probably my friends and uh, you know but I, I I do things off the cuff I don't do it with a script um, the only thing I ever do is write down top tens on something and and so I can get it in order but these are the channels that you are going to want to follow and they will help you find other great channels and make you fall back in love with board gaming if you are feeling kind of worn out worn out with political garbage and all the other drama or or whatever uh, pedophiles and everything else that, that 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 happens around here and racist and hate and all the things that are just ugly in the world go check out some of the places that I've talked about they're they're out there there's a lot of good channels out there there really are and don't put them don't put them in the comments but what, what you think is good because they might be you know because I'm behind the scenes I know the bad ones I'll just delete it especially if I if it's one that I, I figured that oh yeah well all that guy wants is money and I know for a fact there's good people out there just trust me and, and, and even if the bad ones make you happy and make you love board games, that's not such a bad thing. You know, there's, so, there's two sides to everything. Everybody likes something different. And no, if we we're all the same, then what's the point? What's the point? I can only give you my opinion, and my opinion isn't worth anything, okay? And I really feel that, you know, I could tell you how I feel. And that's what I do with this channel. I tell you what I feel and what I think. Okay, doesn't mean I'm right. Doesn't mean I'm wrong either. Okay, somewhere in between, everybody has, is right and wrong. Okay, it's like I always say. Um, you know, there's there's two sides to every story, and somewhere in between is the truth. And that's where you got to take it, and that's the way you have to look at things. Everybody, take a deep breath. Check out some of the stuff and, and, and go find the things that are positive in board gaming, okay? Because it's out there on YouTube. It's not all bad. Twitter, well, that's another story. No, there's some good things out there on Twitter and Instagram. Find those and let's focus in on the positivity and, and, and care about everyone, not just one particular group. Everyone, everyone, if there's kindness in everybody's heart and if there's kindness in board gaming and, and groups, you'll find we'll all come together even though we may be different in, in, in everything in our aspects of life. That we can find a common ground, that we can live together. No more divides and, and hatred and banning people and, and things like so many websites do. Everybody has a freedom to speak, okay? 
That's the beauty thing about freedom, okay? And it's not just America. It's freedom anywhere in the world. It's being able to listen to somebody that may, may say things that you will oppose with all your heart, but having the tolerance to let that person speak and give your vo uh, viewpoint and yet come together somewhere in the middle and maybe find peace with each other instead of divide. And if we can do that, it'll be a, a wonderful, wonderful hobby and a wonderful, wonderful world. Until next time, it's your old pal Rob. We'll see you soon, everybody.